Hi, I'm Mary Margaret Hansen. What you'll see in Heidi Vaughn's gallery through August is a window into a world I create as a visual artist, photographer, and writer. Maybe you're curious about the word a tableau. What language is it? What does it mean? Actually, it's the phonetic spelling of a tableau, which is defined as a picturesque grouping of objects or a picturesque grouping of photographs. The collages and assemblages in this gallery are the result of one year's efforts. Visualizing this exhibition began last August. A year ago, we all lived in a different world than the one in which we live today with masks and lockdown. So to have this particular exhibition at Heidi Vaughan's now is counterpoint to the world outside of the gallery. Perhaps it's all a fantasy. I believe an artist, a musician, or a writer can conjure up another world and then share it. Creating tableaus, arrangements, is my process for making art. It begins when I wake up in the morning. I see the world around me and often begin to photograph as a kind of morning meditation, a quiet way of observing, responding. iPhones have amped up the process. Everything and anything can be photographed quickly. No more film, darkroom, color lab processing, all instant gratification. Whether taking photos or gathering shells on a Galveston beach or finding treasure at the guild shop, I am seeing, always on the hunt. And once I have raw treasure, for instance, hundreds of photographs, I begin to arrange them, laying one photo next to another and then another until a narrative emerges. I'll arrange a group of photos, come back the next day and tear up the whole thing and start over. But gradually images begin to inform one another, dance with one another. A collage is born. The same process happens when arranging, for instance, a vintage vase with Mexican candlesticks, textiles, fruit, vegetables on countertops and tables. Relationships emerge between and among the objects. Often, as in these smaller pieces, I'll intersperse objects with photographic images and then re-photograph what I see. Rose petals frame a beautiful face. A wilted flower in a Chinese saucer overlaps a photograph taken in Florence at the Pitti Palace Gardens. I love chandeliers, and if I had my way, the ceilings of my domicile would overflow with them. My ceilings would be like the Milky Way. When I find a chandelier with imperfections, broken or missing parts, well, that creates an opportunity to embellish, to make the chandelier into something unexpected. This Murano glass chandelier had irreplaceable broken parts, and the shop manager was as eager to be rid of it as I was to embellish it with spare crystals, beads, with two found Murano glass appendages and magenta pink light bulbs, suddenly, it became a confection. This lantern is nostalgic, intimate, definitely has a narrative thread. It's called remembering. A photographic image is attached to the inside of each panel of glass. I love food. I love eating and entertaining and thought about creating a set of porcelain dinner plates with images. Masks Women Wear is a series of a woman's face hidden with barnacles, a shard of broken pottery, a well-used eraser. Women do wear masks. At the same time, we provide sustenance to others. This is a wall of dinner plates as metaphor. When we travel, we see things we've never seen before, and we bring home souvenirs. This Naples diptych is my souvenir. I found Naples to be a rococo world of frenetic energy, graffiti, and beauty, forever under restoration. In these two collages, I hope to convey Naples' energy and my delight in it. A tableau is all my delight in the world I see and the world I want to share with each of you. Thank you.